So, here's the Pokemon one from last week. And it's definitely that past, those pastel colors that are, you know, not going out of the court. Mostly just the black, though, because the blue's kind of gone, the red's kind of gone. You really can't see these guys, but you can still see Mario and Sonic as you did last week. But now they're even a week older, so... Alright, guys, it's El Super Sonic Q, and I'm going to do this right this time. I'm going to show you guys the full making of my chalk drawing for today. So, I actually ended up deciding to draw the Wind Waker Link that I was supposed to do last week, but because the Pokemon Impulsing, because I found some artwork I liked, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to try and get as much as I can, however, I think I'm going to just do the outline first. I'm kind of like, oh no, I'm not going to do the outline, I'll show the outline, but um, if I screwed the outline up, then the whole drawing is pretty much screwed. So, I'm going to do that first, and then be right back. Alright, I'm kind of just going to start. So, yep, if you, you guys watch the Blastoise one, or I mean the Pokemon one at least, you'll, you'll kind of, you know, I don't know if this counts as seeing the same thing, but as I said, um, all chalk is kind of done the, the same by me now, you know, so. Um, this will probably be reminiscent of the Blastoise one, how I was coloring in its head. That's kind of what I meant to say. Um... But yeah, then I will do some additional shading and stuff as I you didn't see with the Blastoise one. And yeah, kind of just go with it and just pretty much do a whole chalk drawing. I might not actually end up recording, I mean, like the entire start to finish, like, you know, um, everything. I'll probably show all of the head. I'll probably do the body off camera. And then I'll probably show maybe the shield and the sword and stuff. But yeah, just as a general kind of, I guess, rule when I'm doing these chalk drawings, though, I, if I suddenly stop or just decide to stop the camera, um, it's probably because, or I meant stop talking, um, or just stop the camera, it's probably because there's somebody around and just, you know, that whole <laughs> thing about the people. So yeah. It took a lot of gall to end up, you know, kind of setting my tripod up and showing this anyway, so, um still not past the point where if there are people around I keep talking to myself and stuff but yeah so like I said not really to kind of comment on the chalk because as I said my technique is pretty much the same now I do this base coating of the lighter color with the Crayola stuff and then I go back not really over it but um, I outline certain things or add shading to certain parts with the pastel chalk which is the stuff that stains the court, especially the black one, like I said earlier. But I hope there's not too much wind, because um, I wanted to kind of make mention of the weather. Of course, you guys know I'm not gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not only going to talk about um, the chalk and Zelda and, you know, stuff like that, but I'll talk about other things too, so the weather like I do in most of my other chalk vlogs. Yeah, for August, it's really, really cool out today. It's like mid-70s, and there is actually a breeze, so I don't think I'm really going to be sweating or anything, but I hope the wind doesn't interfere with um, my narration or anything like that. And I hope you can kind of at least hear me and see me for the most part, because like I said, um... I try and position my camera the best I can, but I'm sure there are certain angles where I think right kind of down there you can see it very well. So I'm trying to get uh, the most that I can into one shot. So it's a little after 10 now, like I said, pretty much I don't get out right at 9 anymore like I used to like to do. But 10 o'clock isn't bad because, like I said, I'm not really beating anybody to the park, which is kind of what I was doing last time at the other park I went to there. Now and then there'd be kids there or something, you know, playing the court, and I'm like, oh, I have to get there before, you know, people start using the court so I can kind of call first dibs, but nobody really. Ah, oh, my drawing! Wow, I put this under my tripod, but it didn't really hold. Alright, so yeah, because, um, wasn't saying about kids, uh, yeah, but no, nobody really 
plays court over here, or plays ball on this court, you know, like I said. And I already have four drawings here. Well, this will be my fourth one. I have three previous, and I didn't have any problems, and nobody's really complained to me that my drawings are still on the court or anything, you know, so I mean, whatever. All right, that was kind of as good as I'm going to get that. I'm going to add... Uh, I don't really... I think it's kind of good for... A base layer. I don't think I can get it much thicker than that, so I'm gonna use these pastel colors and start to add shades. This is another thing too that I kind of like to do with the smaller drawings, is I can spend more time um, making different shades and making different, you know, uh, kind of stuff like that. Whereas the bigger ones, it's like I typically like the Pokemon one. You know, I had three different Pokemon to draw, and they were all pretty big, so I didn't want to spend a lot, a lot of time on any given one of them. Rather, if I'm just kind of doing, you know, like the Mario one, or, you know, this Link one, it's kind of a lot easier to do more, more kind of effects with it, which is what I like, so. So here's actually the first look at, kind of, when I, when I say I, I put down the, the pastel darker color, if you can kind of see from the camera, hopefully, that, um, there's some kind of shading going on. Like I said before, that also saves a lot of chalk, rather. I would have had to use this entire stick. Um, here's a comparison. The, this stuff, I, like I said, is the base coat, and I would have had to use this to color in what this could. Yeah, that, that, that wouldn't happen, so. This saves a lot of money and time, and it just is a better technique overall, I would say. The only thing I don't really like though is kind of these uh, up at the top here, how this is kind of like, you can still see the black of the pavement, but I can't really smooth it out because it's right at, you know, it's an edge, so. Um, I might outline that later. Probably not though, because our work doesn't really have an outline there. Um, do some darker shading now. Pretty nice, and I get that in there. So yeah, kind of have that feeling that today is going to be a lot better day to narrate because there aren't as many. Well, there's nobody here, which hopefully that's going to um, differ greatly from last time. And it's a Monday, so you know I'm sure people aren't. <laughs> Sure, the park isn't the first thing on people's to do list on a Monday morning. So, um, that's pretty good for the hat. I don't think I can get it much better than that, at least not for right now. But it's not as not as in the pavement as I wanted it to be. Which is kind of weird. And I'm, I'm not as close to the street, too, so um, I don't know how many people on the sidewalk will stop and notice. Not that a lot did for any of the other times, but now it's even less. Like the Sonic one, I'll be honest, that was, I think, my favorite drawing that I did at this park. And absolutely nobody, at least when I was there, um, came down and commented on it or really saw it, you know. I think one group of kind of smaller kids did, but that was that was it. And that was like when it was still uh, being made, pretty much. Like, I wasn't very far along. That's one of the things, too. I, I, I think more people will obviously tend to notice it as I'm farther along, so I start to kind of, kind of expect people or want people to kind of, um, you know, notice that notice my drawing as I'm farther along. But when I first started, it's kind of like, okay, I hope nobody's around, because they're like, oh, can I take pictures? It's like there's nothing to really take a picture of. Sometimes it's kind of cool, though, people come along and they take pictures of it kind of in production rather than the finished piece. Sometimes, to a degree, I feel like that's even more rare. All right, I think that's good enough for the hat because I don't really want to work on it anymore. And we're going to move down to the hair, so I'm going to have to um, kind of pause the camera and, yeah, move it down. Alright, uh, here we go. 
start to color in his hair with, yet again, the base yellow. I might stop talking because there's some guy across the street, so. Even though I'm not talking very loudly, and there's a lot of, again, the wind and the traffic. But right now I'm just coloring stuff. So. I could probably talk about a lot of stuff, but. <laughs> I probably couldn't think of anything to talk about. I'm just talking about, yeah, I could. Oh, never mind, he was on the other side of the street. Not the this side. But yeah. I actually kind of feel a little bit of the heat right now, probably just because I'm kind of out in it. Yeah. I feel like because this one is smaller, it's going to look a little bit nicer than maybe the Pokemon one did. I suppose now that I figure it, I don't really feel very weird, I guess, with a camera out, because I always think of the excuse, if everybody's like, why does he have a camera, whatever, it's a school project, <laughs> or, you know, something. Or either that, or I could just say, you know, I'm documenting it, and like, I, I don't know if I actually said before, I think I may have said it in the Mario thing, the, in the making of the Mario thing, but I actually cut it out, I didn't put it on YouTube. But I had this kind of whole rant to myself about um, how in today's world it's kind of expected that we would have our cameras or be recording stuff or talking to ourselves in public or taking pictures of stuff in stores, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just the culture nowadays, so I shouldn't really be, I guess, embarrassed or afraid by it. But that's not to say that people passing by who don't actually know I'm doing chalk or don't know what I'm doing just hear me talking to myself with a camera. Well, talking to myself with a camera. I guess it's kind of... Um, Logic would state that he's recording, but whatever. Back to the Pokemon thing. Um, yeah, I didn't really mean to bash so hard on, or if, if I did, if I came across like that, on the Pokemon drawing that I did um, last week. But, I don't know, there was just something... I think I was expecting a little more of myself, but I don't know if I really could have even achieved that, because um, I was looking at the artwork, and one of the reasons why I really wanted to do it was because of the Ken Sugimori artwork. That's, you know, that's... It was really eye-appealing artwork. I really wanted to do it. It kind of looked like exactly like the game covers, you know, in Ken Sugimura's style. But I really couldn't achieve that, partly because it was just really hot out. And I just couldn't go, you know, a whole lot more without, you know, collapsing. Partly because I just couldn't replicate it with the chalk very well. Um, partly because, well, I think that was it for that. But I was going to say that I... I feel like I was trying to compare it too much with my Mario one, and the Mario one I really liked, and it actually got quite a lot of praise, as I said at the end of the video. So, um, I just feel like with those factors together, you know, I kind of came, I kind of bashed the Pokemon one a little harder than I think I should have, but it was still a nice drawing, even though I think out of all the ones at the park here, that one uh, lasted the leap, lasted. Yeah, the least amount of time, because it actually had a brief sun shower yesterday, and maybe it's rained since I, I, I did the drawing. It probably did. But, um, yeah, that kind of sent the Pokemon one, you know, off. Kind of sent, washed it away already, and the Mario one and the Sonic one are still here. The Sonic one, not really, but the Mario one, yeah, because they all in the whole thing black. So. Ah, it shouldn't have been that. I hope I have more yellow. I kind of packed lightly today. I didn't want to bring all my epic, like, six, you know, different boxes of chalk. I'm kind of like, Link, he's a little bit smaller. I'm going to draw him a little bit smaller. Which might actually come in handy because, well, for one, I won't be out here for as long, but, um, ah, what was I going to say? I don't even know now. See, it's like, you remember what you're going to say, and then you forget to say, it's like, you remember to forget. You're like, okay, you gotta say this, so don't forget it. But then that makes you forget it more. Um, it had to do with link size, but whatever. I packed lighter, so 
hopefully, well, I'll have enough. I'm kind of out of yellow already. Um, man, I gotta get some more yellow. Well, I can't remember what I was gonna say about Link, but I only have one more sticky yellow. So I hope that lasts me. I don't know what is with this wind, but really, for an August day, it's like everybody's saying, oh, it feels like September and stuff, but it's just ridiculous. Would have liked it warmer for a little bit longer. I think the only thing I was going to say about length, I'm going to think about it, was that it's, it's not going to take me as long, or I was going to get off on some tangent about that. Anyways, aside from that thought that's just kind of lingering around. Um, I was going to do some of the shading on the hair on this side, and then kind of be like, I'll finish this side of the hair out of the camera, but I kind of need the whole, whole head to do the shading. So, I'll go for a little bit longer, and then I'll kind of just show the shading on the hair. I really hate some of the cracks in the drawing, especially at this kind of like crease line where the, the uh, hat connects the hair. That, bothers me a lot, and I feel like there's not a lot I can do about it, because it'll kind of just derp something else up if I try and fix it, but then again, when I do fix it, it makes a lot of difference, so I don't know. I'm worried about running out of yellow here, like, that's my first concern. I really should have brought more, I think I have more, but I didn't think I was really going to need it. Maybe after I, I think I thought to myself that I would mix kind of this Crayola stuff with the pastel stuff, but I didn't do that clearly. I mean like actually mix it, like put this down with the pastel stuff. Sorry, a little awkward there, talking to myself, and someone kind of just came out of the bushes, like, yeah, the bushes, um, I'm sure they kind of just walked through them, but I decided to stop talking, because, first awkward encounter, one talking to myself with the camera, and someone coming along with the bike now, so I'm to try to shut up, I don't know, just, just because it's weird, you guys. It's kind of cool though because he ended up looking at my Mario drawing and it's like, hmm, I wonder if he, you know, sees him drawing this now, saw my Mario drawing, hmm, maybe it's the same kid. He was drawing all over the park. kind of weird. Um, as I finished th saying that um, statement, 
some kind of oldish guy on a bike just kind of rode over here from across the street. Cause like stopped right at the, at the where the this basketball court stops or starts, and then just kind of went back the other way. It's kind of weird, but. Just as a disclaimer, for some reason, if I was to ever mention any, any of, I guess, you random people who happen to have been around when I was drawing this, saw me drawing it, or watching this video and know that I'm talking about you, then I mean it with a lot of gratitude and appreciation, so. And if you're one of my subscribers, then you'd probably say something. Be like, oh, here, it's a persona cube, maybe. Maybe just from the chalk, if you guys know that. I don't know anybody else who really draws chalk like this ever. Or at least kind of, you know, not for like, I, I know I've seen stuff like at conventions, I get people doing this, or I've seen pictures online, but you know, just kind of on his own on a random day at the park. It'd be cool to meet some of you guys someday. I really kind of want to like, do like meetups with my subscribers. That would be, that'd, that'd be really great. Or like you guys can see me do some live chalk or something like that. That would be the best, but anyway, back to chalk. Yep, I ended up with this much left. But aside from having to do one more kind of strand of his hair on the other side of his head and his belt, which is also in yellow, I should have enough. I'm going to start doing the shading now. Um, yeah. I might try and go back and fill in all these cracks at the top. I don't know. All right. And apparently I thought it would be a good idea to only bring one and a half sticks of peach for like his skin. Um, that's kind of stupid. Wow, I, did, I purposely packed lightly because I didn't think this would be a huge kind of like problem. You know, I thought I was going to have enough colors and I wasn't going to make him very big anyway. But I guess I should have brought like all my chalk. I don't know. And I guess I kind of thought too, I was actually supposed to try a new technique which I can do in the bottom. But like I said, Putting the Crayola layer down, but, but before, you know, kind of doing that, putting this pastel stuff down too, I thought that would save some chalk and maybe, you know, because when I'm doing this, after I put the first layer down, if I do too much of the pastel stuff, it won't actually rub in and I'll get a bunch of kind of dust left over that's kind of wasted. So, I feel like I'm just kind of being repetitive now and just kind of going over an area that doesn't need to be gone over again. So because rather than technique, it's kind of wasting jock and it's stupid now that I consider it because I used too much of the Crayola stuff. I thought there was somebody running on the sidewalk and I kind of shut up, but maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Okay. Hope you guys aren't going to find that annoying. Then I'm kind of like stopping and start talking, just kind of, you know. Well, like I said, just that whole kind of thing. Um, but of course, it's the times when you do kind of get into a ramble session that people end up popping out. And then the times when you're not talking, you see the people and then nobody shows up. But my tripod's pretty low on the ground anyway. That's why I decided to kind of uh, use my tripod. 
is because it's low on the ground, so nobody really would notice it. I kind of assumed before I started using it that I would have to put it way up in the air and it looked really weird, but you can't really notice it. It's kind of it's only a little bit taller than my chalk bag, honestly. So. All right, I need some orange because I gotta do fancy stuff with the hair. Oh, that's right, I didn't pack any orange. Wow, that guy's a fast bug. Go away. Um, yeah, I think I thought I was going to use pastel colors to color in Link's face, because I have a lot of that, but, as I said, I don't know why I was thinking that. But bad idea. Well, I think I'm going to move on to the face after I do the last kind of hair. Actually. No, I got to do the head now. All right. All right, let's color in the head. Considering I have a bunch of this peach color and stuff, maybe I'll try or the peach pastel stuff, maybe I'll try that kind of um, Crayola and non-Crayola or Crayola and pastel <clears throat> crossover of the, uh, the colors. Chalk doesn't really get your hands kind of bad like the clay where you have to like wash them. I mean black might be the only kind of case where you do that, but I've got a lot of green and yellow on my hand and that's kind of messing up the pavement at least. I put kind of put my hand down. I probably just need more color, more peach color. And of course, I'm getting my tripod camera all kind of chalky and stuff with my chalk hands. But I'll just have to clean them. I haven't cleaned my camera since like the Sonic one. I've done you know the two other chalk drawings, so it's just kind of naturally dirty now, I guess, because kind of got sick of cleaning it. But how is this? Kind of, kind of stops about there, I think. Because his eyes kind of take up his whole face. So I'll just start coloring. For some reason, this color is spreading really, really well. But amongst that, I just remembered I was going to try and put the pastel stuff in. They're like two different colors, so maybe I'll get a completely different color. Uh, that works pretty well, but it's it's kind of kind of flat, though. I think I'll have to go back to what I was doing before. Kind of that kind of like, it, it, it's repetitive and redundant, but it makes it look better. One, it's like one of those techniques, so I'll have to go back to doing that. And I actually had enough for his head, wow. I still have another half a stick anyway. And I guess I didn't really need to color over where the eyes are going to be, but I, whoops. But it's going to get really kind of weird as I progress down, because... For some reason, when I was setting up and kind of choosing this spot all of, what, a half an hour ago, probably, I didn't really realize a huge kind of, like, I don't know, it's like a gum or like a bird poop mark or something, and it's right where I'm kind of directing the body, so I'm going to have to kind of color over that, I guess. It's just kind of disgusting. But I really didn't notice it, and it's not a lot I could have done about, could have done about it now, I guess. And why is there white in my peach? Like streaks of white. It's like when I was um, coloring the Pokemon, I kept getting streaks, streaks of black for some reason in the chalk.
well, not sweating as much as I typically would be, because like I said, it's a lot cooler out now. Well, yeah, pretty much still is. So, I'm kind of just, I'm kind of as warm as I would be just on a typical warm day. But if it was warm out, then I would be, you know, like, sweating and stuff. But it's kind of that, you know, it's kind of like, kind of like a phases, I guess. Like, it's cool, so I'm hot as I would be on a normal day, but I'm not sweating. But if it was hot out and I was talking like this and stuff, I'd be sweating as if it was like a really hot day. If it was a really hot day, I probably wouldn't be doing shock. I remember there were a couple times, I forget when exactly, but, um, ah, uh, what, man, I think it was earlier this year, was it? Uh, it may have been around, it may have been around June or something. I wanted to do some chalk, but it was way too hot out, and I just couldn't do it. It was like 90 degrees, and I just, it just wasn't going to get done, so... Nope, nobody around, just can't think of anything to say right now. I think there are going to be those times in this video where I just stop talking for no reason. <sighs> Glad the pavement's not too hot, but I've probably been working. The hardest I've worked on chalk um, in a while because I'm kind of doing this with the mentality of making a video, so I'm not really, you know, kind of dilly dallying or, you know, stalling or anything. I'm kind of trying to get it, you know, done so you guys have something to watch and I'm not just standing around for like 20 minutes. So my back kind of hurts. Because I'm not really messing around. That's I feel like some of the reason why um, shock breaks take me so long is because I, aside from just like the, the, the needed break, I kind of just stall for no reason, like take a longer break than I should. Now I guess I'll put this pastel stuff over. This is kind of pink, strangely enough. He doesn't really have shading to his face, so kind of just a noticeable hairline. Alright, I can probably start doing the face now. I'm pretty happy with how that face turned out. Let's color it in. Uh, uh, Tony has some really big eyebrows though, but I guess they're covered by his hair in this artwork. Which actually is not an artwork, it's rather a figure. The um, little 
Wing figure that came in the Zelda box. Collector's whatever that was. Kind of booklet thing, so. Yeah, that's, that's the artwork I went with. <laughs> it's like I said, it's not really the artwork, but I figured I drew the, um, I drew that Metacom Skyward Sword link. That was a pretty cool artwork. That was a pretty cool kind of picture to go off of, and like I said, I couldn't really find any woodwind artwork I liked. I wanted something a little bit different that, I don't know, I don't know, just, yeah, and, um, I ended up taking up that link figure from Zelda box. So I looked it up and it was, I found a good picture, a good pose I liked, well pretty much only one pose of the figure, but I mean, a really good image, so I decided to go with that. This black is coloring in pretty nicely. Right now it's coloring in really smooth, really nice. Again, probably because I use that base layer. That's a really nice eye. It could have turned out a lot worse. I think I got it as good as I could. Of course, now I have to kind of do the white around it. And that's when the black is going to mess stuff up. I just think it's good enough to, to not put the white around. I don't know. Nah, the white will probably look better. We gotta make them a little, little, little meaner. Make his eyebrows a little bit thicker, kind of modifying this. I guess he does look kind of mean the way he is. Now I should probably clean my hands because there's a bunch of white on it, but I really don't want to. Oh well, it'll be my fault. And if I start complaining about this black mixing with the white, remind me guys, it's my fault. Because I'm coloring over the peach too, so... Uh, I might just kind of leave that there for now. I do the other, I can get back to that. Maybe not. I really don't want to go in my hands. Uh, maybe I don't have to. It's white enough, and I'm sure this black one is mixing in with it anyway. So it's not like I could have even prevented the inevitable. I feel like I had more stuff to talk about in terms of my shop. I don't remember what it was. I'm too concerned with these eyes. And again, that whole remember to not forget when you forget. Oh, this looks pretty good. I know you guys were at like an angle for that other ride, but maybe this one I'll try not to do it. That's so much an angle. I guess now that I'm getting into kind of the nitty gritty of this drawing, or at least of the face. I should say of the drawing, because I feel like the face is really the be-all, end-all of the drawing. More or less. But, um... Yeah, like I said, I guess I don't really have a whole lot to say at this point. I kind of figured that, too, as another reason why I wouldn't end up doing a Let's Play. 
is because when I play video games, I'm really, like, into it. I really don't talk a whole lot. I just, you know, um, I just pretty much get so involved in the game, I really don't have anything to say. So, I guess it's kind of like that for this drawing. I'm kind of so into it, the nitty-gritty now, that I don't really, can't really distract myself with talking. At least for the eyes. But we're almost done with the face, so. And I just have to do the other ear. I did the other kind of, um hair piece off camera because it was just really short and it wasn't really worth showing. <laughs> These videos are going to be monstrous to upload though. Because I have so many and I don't really know how long they are each and I didn't fix my uploader but even had I fixed it, which I at this point, it's probably not going to get fixed unless I actually take it to a place that won't screw my computer up. Cough. Staples. Cough. But, um, had I fixed it, I think it would still take a couple hours each anyway. I remember when I was doing some of my, when I uploaded some of my, um, super sketching, uh, not super sketching, uh, quick draw, like that quick draw Mario when I did the Raccoon Mario. I remember that video took two hours to upload and I was using the uploader, so... And some of my longer videos took like an hour and a half. I mean, it saves me some time, yes. It doesn't take 300-something minutes like YouTube does. But at the same time, um, it, it, it's not like it saves a tremendous amount of time. And if I'm uploading a bunch of videos anyway, uh, it's probably not going to save me a lot of time. And wow, there is a huge wind. Oh my god, it's Wind Waker. That reference had to be made. Maybe it was windy today for a reason. That was the reason. We're running away from Wind Waker, so it had to be windy out. I think, you know, yeah, I'll start, I'll start talking about kind of some more kind of like, I don't know, vlog stuff. I don't really, like, want to say vlog stuff. It just sounds kind of weird, but I'll just start talking more about, like, um, myself, I guess. Um, I, I have a lot of memories from a lot of Zelda games, or at least Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and Wind Waker specifically, because those are the ones I actually uh, remember playing through, or actually did play through and beat the game, because, like I said, I ended up getting that Zelda collector's disc with my GameCube, so I had all those four games. I didn't like the NES ones, I still really don't like them, but I ended up playing and beating Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, and then I had Wind Waker, or I have Wind Waker, so I ended up playing through and beating Wind Waker, but of all the Zelda games, I feel like I remember Wind Waker the, the most, because unlike Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, where I kind of played them when I was really little, didn't like Zelda, really didn't understand Zelda, thought it was too hard or weird, um, I kind of put them down and then picked them up kind of, I feel like a couple years later, as I kind of got to like the character of Link a little bit better and kind of, you know, liked Zelda a little bit more, but Wind Waker, I played that at, i pretty sure almost the same time, or if anything, I, you know, at the time that I got it, which I think was shortly after it came out, actually, uh, or maybe a year or so after it came out, um, I remember I played it for a little bit, but then put it down, was familiar with the Zelda series, so when I picked it back up, you know, I still kind of, I, pretty much the whole playthrough of, of Wind Waker was when I was familiar with Zelda. So, for some reason, I feel like I have a lot more kind of memories of it than not just like, what is this weird game like it was with Ocarina of Time, like I said. So, uh, I don't really know where I was going with that, but yeah. I just remember Wind Waker with some of my memories of that, and that was just a really good game. I really liked Wind Waker. It was really different, but it was good different. And I think kind of where I was going was for the, uh, the dungeons and stuff. I remember kind of like every dungeon really kind of vividly. I'd beat one and then want to go on to the next one and then it was funny because the, uh, of course I don't remember what they were now, but the um, the two when you're in, I think when you're in Hyrule, um, there's the one, I think it's the wind one and then the other one, I think I, I forget which one of those are, but it's toward the end of the game. I remember I beat those two and then like that was, you were really close to the end of the game and I'm like, no, that's it, I wanted to play more dungeons because the dungeons that were really cool in that game. Um, the Deku Tree one, I forget what that one was called, but the Deku Tree one was a really good place. I like that place. Um, I think the one in Hyrule where you had to climb the tower to the top, I didn't like that one very much, but 
yeah, Wind Waker was a really good game. I remember, like I said, a lot of kind of my playthrough of that game, more so than Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. So, yeah, props to Wind Waker. Props to Wind Waker HD. Too bad I don't have a Wii U to play it on. <laughs> but hopefully at some point, hopefully at some point I will, though. So the eye is just about done. I'm kind of just going to do some touch-ups, I guess, to both of them. Make them a little bit more white. And then uh, I, I think I'll take a break from recording, do the body, and then I'll come back with um, with the limbs. So, yeah. I kind of skipped ahead a little. I actually ended up doing the... Uh, the sword hand and stuff over there, which you'll probably see in the final product. Uh, and I was kind of just mindlessly coloring this bottom part, and I'm just like, well, wait, I was supposed to show this part, and why can't I show it? So I just decided to turn my camera back on. But yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> At least you guys are gonna get to see the coloring, if, even if I don't have anything to talk about, but I'm sure I'll think of something. Right now I'm coloring over that gum spot I said I had to, which is like, yeah. But I, oh God, I really don't want to touch that because I don't know what it is. Oh, I didn't bring any paper towels either, so it's not like I can color over it with a paper towel. Mm. Well, um, germs aside, yeah. I'm liking this link. It's looking really good, really kind of wind waker. Because that's the thing, too. I kind of was looking at the Wind Waker artwork. I was looking at um, the spirit tracks, the Phantom Hourglass stuff. But I'm like, no. Wind Waker looks different than spirit tracks and Phantom Hourglass. You know, all those ones kind of look the same. But Wind Waker is, like, different. So that's why I wanted to go with Wind Waker. And like I said before, Wind Waker was just a really great game. So, yeah. Had to do Wind Waker. And like I said, I, I do kind of like this, rather than a bunch of different characters, or even a little kind of scene, like what I did with the Sonic, and the a bunch of characters like with the, with the Pokemon. I'm liking the, like how I, what I did with Mario, which is what I'm doing with this Link too. Kind of just one character, not too big, not too small, with really good kind of detail and shading and quality. You know, that's, that's what looks really good, so I'm liking that. I'm gonna have to sterilize my hand after because this is disgusting. This gum stuff. I think it is gum. I was hoping it was like just like pavement or something, but ew, that is disgusting. I want my. I don't have any soap on me right now, but I'm gonna say I go wash my hands now, but I can't. I'm doing it for the art, you guys, and for your entertainment, maybe. Well, you're watching me draw this link, so I'm doing it for you. I can't believe I didn't see that when I was kind of planning where I was going to go, although I kind of wanted to do it in the same general area, well not general area, but I did Sonic kind of um, the half court over and I'm on the other half of the court, so I, end, I ended up with four drawings and kind of um, Link and Sonic on both halves, kind of farther back on the court, and then the Pokemon and Mario ones um, closer up, you know, near the, near kind of, like I said, the sidewalk a bit farther down on both halves of the course. I wanted like kind of like a four square, but not really in a square. Yeah. Um, four square, but not in a square. Yeah, that's, that's what I was going for. But like I was saying about this link though, um, or maybe I wasn't talking about link. I was talking about, oh, my position. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Um, yeah, and I didn't really want to go down anymore because I felt like I was too in the middle of the court. I really don't like to be in the middle of the court anyway. I couldn't really go over anymore because there's a bunch of kind of like sand or something that would prevent me from kind of coloring in really nice and it's sand and it just, I don't know, it looks kind of crappy. So, um, this was kind of the only other option. And now that I colored over it, you can't see it, so props there. And if you think about it, how many other germs are all over the place, and how long has that gum been there, and, you know, I mean, I'm sure 
most of the germs probably died and they're just generic germs from the ground all over it and I'm all over the ground right now so maybe it all equals out <laughs> and maybe I just spewed a bunch of nonsense <laughs> but whatever gonna have to do that two different color variations with one's shirt because um, his actual shirt is a darker green like his hat and then his um, like the shirt sleeves and stuff are actually lighter green so I'll have to do something with there probably use that darker green that I used earlier the darker pastel for the shirt and then I might actually go back over the hat in a darker pastel too and then I'll either use the light green pastel or kind of just leave the sleeves this Crayola green. Probably won't do that. I'll probably go back over with pastel. I don't really know what time it is because, like I said, I don't really... I don't really... No, I don't have a watch on me, so... It's probably, I'm going to guess, maybe... Quarter or twelve would probably be a pretty good guess can't really verify that with an annotation though because in however many minutes the time will change and it's not like I can go back and you know it's not like oh I finished it this time I'll go check a clock it's like I'm in the middle of progress can't really check that if I don't check it at the time so unless I do a bunch of calculations with um, how long each seg each um, kind of video segment was but uh, no.
Sorry about that jump, you guys, but I accidentally knocked my camera off my tripod because I was reaching over to get a piece of chalk, and it kind of ripped the tape, and I couldn't tape it back on, so... Um, sorry if that was kind of it, but all I had left to show was kind of the legs, which wasn't very eventful, and kind of the rest, like the bottom half of the tunic and stuff. So, um, yeah. You didn't really miss anything there, and even if I wanted to record stuff, I couldn't really because there were people kind of lingering around, so... Uh, I can't do people when I'm recording and doing videos. Anyway, so I want to show you guys the final product. Here is Wind Waker Link. So, yep, this was the first official, complete, um, kind of, I guess, chalk vlog or chalk the making of whatever I'm calling it now, but there's the face. I really like that face. I really like how it kind of turned out in the end. Really nice, kind of, again. It's like, I feel like it's like with the Mario one, where it's just, it really stands out and stuff, but at the same time, uh, it's nice in its own way, because you notice the face rather than kind of the, the whole outline, because I left the colors um, kind of just outlined in their own color, but it looks really, really nice. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this one. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of seeing the making of it and stuff. I'm sure there'll be... A, I'd like to do... See, I'm kind of foggy about where the chalk stands now, because I I kind of had these, you know, the, the four that I've done over the four weeks. Um, I kind of did all those ones, so I don't really know if I want to go through with doing more kind of this late in the season. I did want to do one more, but it wasn't going to be a video game one. It was going to be a CD cover reveal what that one is yet but I wanted to do at least that one to kind of finish off uh, the chalk season however I may or may not do some more of these video game ones I'm not sure but at least we got a complete legit chalk drawing and you know and I pretty much finished my uh, all, all the characters that I, I really wanted to do I did the Sonic one I did the Mario I did the Pokemon and now I've got Link, so I figured that's four, that's a month, you know, and then I'll do my closer CD cover. But again, not sure where that stands, it's up in the air. So, that's that. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Thanks for watching, and like always, I'll have more videos soon. I kind of just want to get one more, one more go around. I just really like this one. Like I said, just Wind Waker Link, it, it, it's pretty big. I like it, so there we go. Till the next video, guys. I'm L Supersonic Q. Finn.